Yeah, hi, hi, all of you. I'm back. I'm back with something very interesting for the day. And this topic is going to change the way you think about search engines, about your SEO careers, and the way you implement at your desk. So, before I start the topic, let me quickly start with a simple question. So, the question is here. So, when you search for a keyword like buy shoes online you would probably see so many websites ranking on the google first page right and let's assume so the websites are like flipkart amazon snapdeal jibong mintra ranking on the first page of all this let's assume that flipkart is ranking on the first position so here is my question why is that flipkart ranking on first position and how is that ranking on the first position and i'm sure that most of them fail to answer correctly to this question and probably you must have already started thinking that backlinks would have helped Flipkart to rank or maybe content, lots of content on the page or the domain authority or age of the domain, right? Of course, everybody does the same. So because that's the, that's the knowledge everybody has got. People are writing the same on the internet. Everywhere it's the same that people 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 tell that there are 200 different signals that make the website to rank But but there is no valid explanation. Why is that Flipkart ranking on the top in our today's example today's example is buy shoes online and of for this queries There are a couple of websites ranking and of all this Flipkart is ranking on the first position Jabong Mintra Snapdeal must be ranking right below the Flipkart and probably even you must have started thinking, okay, so Flipkart must be ranking on the first position because of its credibility, right? So the answers, so I'm, I'm going to provide you a explanation today. It's going to change you the way you think about search engines and their functionality. And of course, your SEO strategies are also going to change. And your implementations are also going to be more meaningful going forward. And I have seen people telling that content, backlinks, blah, blah. So everything, everything, everything. So the uh, n number of things that you do at your desk are just to improve the three metrics, which are going to be considered by search engines to place a website on the top. These three metrics are going to define the SEO success of the business. Majority of them doesn't know which are these three. And that's the reason they blindly keep doing everything that's written on the internet. Everything that's, told, that's been told by the seniors, everything being told by the trainers. They, they, they don't have any valid reason why are they doing, why, why are they implementing it. And many times this being the reason, it has become a probability case. They might see a success or they might not see a success or the results might not be as expected they might they might see it coming in very late they might see the results after a very long time not as expected or maybe they don't see the results at all right so probably this could have been an experience for most of the seo professionals and then they start telling we, we, we don't know why it's not ranking and we we don't know what google is going to consider and we don't know why why uh, our website is not being considered by search engines. And then they start telling that, okay, so the content is not good. There are less number of backlinks. See, if you look at this example, by shoes online, Flipkart, Jabong, Mintra, Snapdeal, all these are very credible websites. And everybody has digital marketers sitting in their organizations and implementing the bright digital marketing strategies, right? And still we are struggling to understand to tell or to, and we are still struggling to explain why that Flipkart is ranking on the top. None of this answers backlinks, good content, good meta tags, 200 different signals. None of these are correct. None of these are correct. The way you think how search engines function is going to completely change with this explanation now. You want me to tell which are those three? Which are those three metrics that Google search engines consider to rank your website on top? So here are those three metrics 
that search engines consider to place your website on the top. Number one, crawl frequency. Crawl frequency of the website is going to get your website closer to the first page or to the bottom of your first page. So crawl frequency alone is not going to move you to the top and retain you in that position. There are two more metrics that are going to help you to move to the top and retain you in the top. The second metric is CTR. CTR is going to help your website to move to the top. Better the CTR, higher the CTR as compared to that of your competitors, you will be placed higher. And CTR alone is not going to help you to stay over there if you are bad with the third metric. The third metric is engagement. Engagement is you have to make sure that people spend time on your site, explore the web pages and their goal is also met and their purpose is also met. These are the three metrics that are going to be considered by search engines to place your website on the top. And everything that you do at your desk are to improve these three metrics, crawl frequency, the CTR and the engagement. Everything that you do is to improve this three metrics. So now the next question arises. Everybody has these three metrics, correct? Everybody has Flipkart, Amazon, Zamong, Flipkart, Snapdeal. Everybody has these metrics in place, right? Then why is that Flipkart ranking on the top? Let's deep dive. Let's understand it thoroughly. Why is that Flipkart ranking on the top? Okay. So let us understand this by assigning some values to each of this metric. For example, for example, so let's assume. So let, let's, let's, let's rate. Let's rate the Flipkart. Sorry. So, so let's rate the crawl frequency. For example, let's give a rating of 7 to Flipkart for the crawl frequency in the scale of 1 to 10 and 9 for Amazon, 6 for Jabong and 8 for Mintra. Okay. So considering this, the Flipkart still has lesser crawl frequency, right? The 7 indicates it's lesser than 9 and lesser than that of Amazon. Correct. So now the CTR. See the, the scroll frequency alone is not going to give a hold to you on the move, move your website to the first position. I told you right already there are two more signals. See just, just scoring 100 out of 100 in 5 subjects and uh, scoring 10 marks in subject doesn't make you doesn't, doesn't pass you right. You have to score in all the subjects. You have to at least score the pass marks, the cutoff marks, right? So crawl frequency is can be related to so 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 the, the score can be related to the cutoff marks in your on campus interview. So you are eligible for an on campus interview only when you meet those criteria, cutoff marks criteria. You are eligible, and this is not going to guarantee you the job, right? It it matters it, again. Your performance matters. Have you? Uh, doing do your interview matters right the same is the case here so crawl frequency alone is not going to place your website in the top crawl frequency is allowing you to come closer to the first page or onto the bottom of the first page the ctr the second metric ctr let's give a score of score to all the websites for the ctr metric so let's say now flipkart has ctr of nine percentage amazon has ctr of six Jabong has some other score okay and the third metric is engagement let's again give some scores okay so flipkart score is 8 Jabong 7 amazon 7 okay so now when you take the average of all these metrics so whomsoever has the highest score are going to be placed on the top so if flipkart has ctr of 7 percentage and engagement of 9% and crawl frequency of 8% and if their average is close to 9% which is higher than everybody else then Flipkart will be placed in the top. See I am not explaining this on the board and probably explaining it on the board with the table would have given you a very good understanding. So so, so on basis of this discussion you please plot, please put it on a table okay. So your rows will be the players 
player 1 player 2 flipkart amazon mintra jabong snapdeal and your column scroll frequency the ctr and the engagement are in the columns now start giving a score okay and see whom server and, 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 and just just put the average of all these scores also and whom server has the highest average is the one going to be placed in the top this is how the search engines work and everything that you do at your desk and every other seo professional whatever they do are doing to improve these three metrics and whomsoever achieves the highest average of all these metrics are going to be a leader are going to be placed on top of the search engines on search results search engine search results okay so now uh, you would have you would have seen people telling that domain authority is what's making but many cases you must have observed a website that has got the least domain authority of all the players must have been in the top because you, you don't need 100 domain authority or 90 domain authority to be placed on the top you just have to be eligible you just have to meet those basic criteria the cut off criteria let's say if you have got a crawl frequency when, when, when we give a uh, rating of 5 that, that's perfectly fine you are eligible to be now rank on the first page if you are meeting the other two expectations also okay so an engagement can be met by anybody it, it doesn't matter so the engagement can be much better than a website whose domain authority is 100 or 90 or 80 and this website's domain authority could be just 30 but the engagement can be super good and ctr also in your control so you you can implement rate snippets okay so you can have attractive titles and descriptions and these are all going to and, and, and your business can be well known so in case if your business is well known in the market that's another advantage it's going to help to move your result to the top okay it's not just the domain authority or the quality content see everything of course everything of course is contributing okay so now i'm hoping that this is clear and you're going to implement your seo differently and you're going to question yourself why and what about your implementations and it has to be always you, you, you need to have enough clarity like what is lagging on your system what is lagging on your website M many times you would see your website having too many backlinks but it's not working but but it could be because the ctr is poor or it could be because your engagement is bad and engagement can be bad for several reasons that there could be a problem with ui ux your load times could be bad your, your web vitals are bad your web performance is bad the content put on the page is bad right okay so i'm assuming that this has given some clarity to you about how search engines work in case if you still have the doubts please get back to me or you can comment on this video i'll be happy to help you out on any questions related to seo thanks for watching this video have a good day bye